Hi, four and a half years ago, I was walking in this trail in the old growth forest, and buried in the duff here, I saw a little white chalky uh, substance, and I uncovered it, and this is a Garricon, Phomitopsis officinalis. This is a baby one, very small, but this is truly um, the uh, species that grows only in the old growth forest, the subject of many of our studies. So four and a half years later, it's been sitting in my house, and the thing is proper to return it. So I'm returning the Garricon to his birthplace, which means this tree here, this old growth Douglas fir, is an agaricon tree. And I think agaricon acts as an endophyte, protecting the tree from quick to kill fungi. So I'm gonna return agaricon back to his mother. And I return to just about the way I saw it. And I saw it just about like this. There's the peak of a white poking through, and I thought, what is that? I uncovered it, it was agaricon. So full circle. Wow, this is so amazing. I found a, uh, a beautiful pair of Ganoderma oregonensis. And you can actually write your name or the name of the mushroom underneath with your fingernail, for instance. And this mushroom has a waterproof skin on it. And you can make this into a band-aid over a cut, for instance. And then the white pith underneath this pore layer here has antibacterial properties that prevent infection. Anyhow, this is a great find, and these are huge. Wow, we found something extremely unusual. I haven't seen this in probably seven or eight years, and such a beautiful fruiting of the big laughing gym. This is uh, known as uh, Gymnopolis, and this is probably Gymnopolis ventricosis. This is a morel. Morels are some of the most delicious mushrooms in the world. And this morel is quite unique because we're growing. We're gonna zoom down into the morel heaven landscape and uh, there's a beautiful morel coming up. And we go to the next flag and, and here's another really nice morel showing. And there's a really beautiful one showing up here. And then we'll zoom over and oh my, we have three morels showing up here. That's fun. And we're going over here, and here's another one. I think you're ready for the table. It's got this majestic skirt. It re leaves a rusty brown spore. Now, it, immediately people are gonna ask, well, is this edible, is this poisonous? This is one of the examples of a mushroom that is not really good tasting, not poisonous per se, uh, but it's not edible. But it is a regal and majestic mushroom, and one of the, the nicest examples of grace and elegance as presented in a mushroom. And this is one of the reasons why we like mushrooms. They're just so beautiful to encounter. Now, we leave the stem butt in the ground. This is important. And you want to pick the mushrooms so they are clean, as clean as possible before you put them back. In this case, we don't bring our knives. You know. Good thinking, eh? Hi there. My name is Paul Stamets. I'm in Machu Picchu, Peru. And in the grasslands around the ruins, I found Pinellus gastenifolius, otherwise known as Paneolina gastenifolius. It's a purple-brown spored mushroom, the genus Pinellus, which contains many of the psilocybin active mushroom species. Now, this one per se is not known to be psilocybin active, but many other species very closely related to this are. And it grows in grassland areas, um, and this mushroom is featured in one of my books, Psilocybin Mushrooms of the World, as well as Psilocybe Mushrooms and their allies. So it's very exciting for me to find this species, um, and I think it's a mushroom that I'm going to explore more and I'm going to look around the surrounding landscape to see if I find any of the other species that are so psilocybin We found something that I personally have not found in my life. Um, I've been hunting mushrooms for a long time. This is actually a cordyceps mushroom, and it is parasitizing a truffle. I'm going to go underneath here, and let's see if there is a truffle underneath. There is the truffle. And I'm going to have to break it and cut it in half here for any doubters out there. Um, I would say this is next to fabulous. <laughs> wow. This is extraordinarily cool. I mean, oh, this is mycological history uh, in the making. There it is. A brown spored mushroom. It does not have a separable gelatinous pellicle. It's extremely fragile. Edibility unknown. Uh, lots of mushrooms. We don't know if they're edible or not, unless somebody eats them. But please don't be the first. This is what I live for. 